Yeah, just hold on a minute, this one gets to the good part. So throughout the course of history, over 130 million books have been published. So obviously humans have a thirst for knowledge. And when you think of books, what do you think of? Harry Potter, The Alchemist, The Bible maybe? Well, what about books that replicate themselves or predict the future? Well today, I'm going to show you a list of books that actually existed that defy all logic by existing at all. So let's jump right into it. These are the 10 most mysterious books in history. Number one is the Book of Soiga. Also known as Aldaria, the Book of Soiga is a legendary book that exists right now in the UK that is said to have been presented to Adam himself by the angels of God in the Garden of Eden. The 197 pages of the book consist of everything from spells, rituals, and information on other magics, demonology, and astrology. The first known owner of this book was John Dee, a well-known Elizabethan mathematician, astrologer, and consultant to the court of the queen. He possessed over 3,000 books, which was the largest library in England at the time. After his death, however, the book seemed to vanish from existence, only to suddenly resurface in not one, but two different places in 1994. One was the British Library in London, and the other was the Bodleian Library in Oxford. Okay, so obviously the existence of this book defies logic, but what also defies logic is why this guy had over 3,000 books. I mean, I'm all about hobbies and whatnot, but go see some sunlight, man. Number two is the Roanoke Codex. All 448 pages of this book are written in a language that to this day is still indecipherable. The Ronex Codex's words are written from right to left on each page and are accompanied by 87 illustrations of military battles, landscapes, and other images that may have religious influence. Scholars have noted that the number of symbols used in the book are 10 times those in any known alphabet. The codex was discovered in 1700 in Hungary, and since then many have tried to decipher it with wildly different translations. The fact is, this mysterious book may never be truly understood. Kind of like Michael Jackson. That man was an enigma. Rest in peace. Number three is the Great Omar Book. Technically, the full title of this book is <clears throat> The Sangorsky Edition of the Rubiat of Omar Khayyam. Well, that's quite the mouthful. Francis Sangorsky was a bookbinder from London who started a firm in 1901 and created the first of what many claim to be the most cursed book of all time. The book that Sangorsky made found its way to the bottom of the Atlantic when it sank with, of all things, the Titanic. Then there was a second copy made using Sangorsky's original drawings, which was destroyed soon after completion in the early days of World War II when London was bombed during the Blitz. It then took 40 years to finish the third copy, which was donated to the British Library after its maker, Stanley Bray, died. You know, maybe I'm just pragmatic, but I would just not touch the book. I don't care what secrets lie within. It's don't kill me, man. Be pragmatic. Don't touch those pages. Number four are the Prophecies of Nostradamus. Possibly the most famous book on this list, The Prophecies of Nostradamus is one that is widely claimed to have predicted several major events in human history. These include the rise of Napoleon and Adolf Hitler, the Great Fire of London, the dropping of the first nuclear bomb, and even the September 11th attacks on the World Trade Center in New York City. People seem to consistently be linking every disaster, both those that occur naturally and those that are man-made to the words that Michel de Nostradam wrote 400 years ago. Now this is highly contested with many believing that these predictions are 100% accurate and some that just call them out as false. Personally, I would love to be able to predict the future, but not just the things that are bad. I feel like that would make you a bit of a party pooper. Hey Matt, nice to meet you. You're gonna lose your job tomorrow. Okay, good chat. Number five is the Ripley Scroll Book. Named after the 15th century Augustian monk and Al alchemist George Ripley, the Ripley Scroll reads almost like a journal and is essentially a real-life wizard spellbook. It chronicles the man's travels across Europe as he combed the land in search of immortality and the secrets behind transmutation. Legend has it that he was able to change lead into gold with a spell contained within the pages by creating the Philosopher's Stone. This of course in turn was used to make the elixir of life which many claim had made the monk immortal. Now history claims that the man died in 1490, but he may still be out there somewhere, waiting. 
Drink it on that sweet elixir. Number six is the Popol Vuh. According to a tale told by Francisco Ziemens, a Dominican priest, the Popol Vuh was a manuscript given to him when, in 1701, he visited a small town in Guatemala. The Popol Vuh, which translates to the Book of the People, contains an elaborate creation story involving four deities, a brief history of the planet, and cosmology teachings. Though he cites his source as a parishioner in the town, no no similar manuscript has ever been found. There are some scholars who argue that he should never have been given access to the pages since it was considered a closely guarded secret. The Popol Vuh is definitely a book shrouded in mystery. Number seven are the Beale ciphers. The Beale ciphers are basically like the beginning of a real life national treasure. The pages are actually a trio of ciphers which lead to a massive hidden treasure of gold, silver, and jewels worth nearly Brace yourself, $63 million. As legend has it, in 1820, the pages were given in a box by Thomas Beale to an innkeeper in Virginia named Robert Morris. The box was given with the instruction that he should only open the box if Beale did not return within 10 years. And of course, Beale disappeared, so naturally Morris opened the box and began trying to break the code written on the papers inside. In all of history, only one of the pages Ages has ever been deciphered, and it took, believe it or not, the Declaration of Independence as a key to unlock it. And you guys thought I was joking about the national treasure thing. Neither of the codes have ever been broken to this day, and many claim that the treasure is still out there waiting to be found. I think it would be hilarious after decades, somebody finally cracked the Beale cipher, and they open the box, and instead of treasure, it's just like a note that says, lo 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 that would be money. Number eight are the Dead Sea Scrolls. Discovered in 11 caves across the shore of the Dead Sea, starting with one that two goat herders found, the Dead Sea Scrolls are considered the greatest manuscript discovery of modern times. They were found between 1947 and 1956 and contain, amongst other things, the oldest collection of Old Testament manuscripts ever discovered. These included prophecies by Ezekiel, Daniel, and Jeremiah that have never been found in the the Bible before. The scrolls themselves are unbelievably over 2,000 years old and at least one of them is an ancient treasure map to 64 different buried treasures. Look, I appreciate that the uh, goat herders handed these in for historical purposes, but if I found a treasure map like that that led to 64 different big treasures, you would never see me again. I would be on an island bathing in gold and jewels. Sorry, historians. Number nine is the Liber Lintius. The Liber Lintius only contains 1,200 words, written on 230 lines. But what makes it truly unique is what those words are written on, and also what it was used for later. The ancient text refers to the Etruscans, people who populated Italy before the rise of the Roman Empire. It's scribed on linen, making it the only known example of a book made that way. Interestingly, after the Etruscans fell, their Roman conquerors would have destroyed the text if for not how it was preserved and hidden. The Liber Lintius was written on wrappings covering an Egyptian tailor's mummified wife, which is how it was discovered in the 1800s when the mummy was donated to a museum. Now, if they really wanted to hide this message, I think they should have put some underwear on the mummy because think about it. Someone discovers a mummy, sees underwear, what are they going to do? They're going to look underneath. They're going to find a message on some mummy dick. And number 10 is the Vonich Manuscript. This final one is vastly considered the most mysterious book on the planet. The Vonich Manuscript is so old and confusing that many an argument has been had to how exactly it needs to be studied. Written by an anonymous author, the manuscript is almost impossible to translate, but some people claim that it's actually a puzzle. The book, which in the 1800s was part of a Jesuit library, is named after Wilfred Vonich, a Polish book dealer who came into its possession in 1909. It's an illustrated handwritten codex penned in a language that was previously unknown. To this day, it's still not known exactly what the manuscript is or even what's said on its pages. Speaking of books, my very first book just launched, guys, and it is available right now in both paperback and audiobook. 
How's that for a segue? Yes, this is the book that I've been talking about for over a year. Mind Equals Blown is a collection of amazing and mind-blowing facts from the world that we live in, as well as a bit of my own life story. If you guys like what I do here on YouTube, you're going to love this book, I promise you that. So, click the link in the description and buy your copy now. I'm incredibly excited to hear what you guys have to say about it. I've been working on this for a long time, so be sure to order it and let me know what you think once you've read it. Ah, I'm overly excited today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, I would very much appreciate it if you click that like button. And as always, if you want to learn anything else, check out my sources in the description. Remember to add me to Snapchat. That is the number one place I interact with you guys and give you updates. My username is Matthew Santoro. The easiest way to do that is to scan my ghost code with your phone right there. Be sure to subscribe to my gaming channel by clicking there. And of course, subscribe to this channel for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Check out the book. Peace. Bye. <laughs> mm -mm -mm.